Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, is going to be my one year update on my dimple piercings. And I'm so excited that, you know, I haven't had any severe complications with them where I've had to take them out. Um, a lot of people are not so lucky, um, but I'm just very blessed that, you know, I'm able to still have them. Um, I have notes on my phone, because I do have some stuff to update you guys on, so if you see me looking at my phone, I'm just, you know, reading notes, um, that way I don't forget anything, and I don't tend to ramble like I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to get right into it. So this is the one year update. Um, I haven't done an update since my six month update. Um, so overall they are doing quite well. Um, the only main problem that I've been having is with this one, the right one. Um, and two times since my last update, the six month update, it's gotten a bubble kind of on the side, right in this area. Um, and it was just filled with lymphatic fluid, which is like nothing, you know, to be worried about. Um, if you don't know, dimple piercings are notorious for acting up. And I kind of, un I'm under the impression that that's something I'm going to have to deal with, you know, um, until I take them out, if I, you know, ever do take them out. So that's, that's annoying. Um, the first bubble that I developed after, you know, I made that last update video, um, that one was pretty painful. I did record at that time, um, to just show you guys what it was looking like. So I, um, I don't know if the video quality is that great, so hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, but I'll insert that right now. Alright, so my cheek piercing here, this is my right side, um, it is swollen right now, and as you guys can see, without me smiling, there is a little bit of a bubble on it, like right in this area. And this is what it looks like when I smile. So, as you guys can see, it is quite noticeable, and um, it was swollen a little bit when I woke up this morning, but I've been trying to drain it because the bubble here is actually a little bit bigger, um, and I have gotten some stuff out of it, and it's not infected or anything, um, just cheek piercings are really, um, prone to doing this sort of thing, um, so it just has, like, fluid in it right now, um, but it, it's not infected. And so I have this rag on me because I've been doing a, a chamomile tea soak on it. Um, and I was just using the rag here to catch the uh, the um, tea dripping from the bag, the tea bag. So that's what it looks like from this side. And as you guys can see, this one, this one's fine. So I heard nothing. This one, this one's giving me problems. Huh? Alright, so hopefully you could tell from that video, um, you know, this side was kind of swollen, and very irritated. Um, I didn't feel the need to film the process of me draining that bubble just because I felt like that would be really gross for you guys and that like most of you wouldn't want to see that. Um, so I didn't film it. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, after I would drain those two bubbles, um, it, my cheek obviously would be, you know, irritated and swollen for a few days, but it wasn't anything major. It wasn't like, you know, completely like massive on this side and like, you know, not on this side. It wasn't really that noticeable. Um, I think if I like pointed it out, then it was like obviously noticeable. But I mean, other than that, it wasn't a big deal. Um, but I just think that that's something I'm just going to have to deal with. If you guys don't know, cheek piercings, dimple piercings, whatever you want to call them, are notorious for getting those types of bubbles. Um, it's it's normal, you just gotta take care of it. Um, you don't want that bubble to keep building. Um, you don't want that lymphatic fluid to keep building in the bubble, that's what I mean. Um, let's see. Alright, both of them are still leaking small amounts of lymphatic fluid, which is fine. That's, you know, in my opinion, perfectly normal. Um, if you guys aren't aware, cheek piercings hardly heal in the six to one year mark, um, six months to one year mark, I mean. Um, most piercers, if they're good piercers and they are, you know, um, kind of pros at doing cheek piercings, they'll tell you that most likely they won't be healed at that six month mark, it's going to be the one year mark. And sometimes cheek piercings aren't even 
heal fully at that one year mark. Um, and you know, I I've, I've watched tons of videos here on YouTube where you know somebody will have their cheek piercings and they'll have them you know for like three years or you know more, and it's still leaking um, some fluid. So I'm not really concerned about it. It doesn't you know drip down my face or anything gross like that. Um, let's see what else. Um, if you guys are wondering, I do still have the original bars put in, so if you have watched my, what was that video, like day one through day four, um, and like my one month update video and so on and on, if you've been watching my, you know, dimple piercing update videos from the very beginning, then those bars that I wore, my very first video showing them off, that's what I still have in. Um, this one does have a little bit more room on it. Um, which is fine. It doesn't really stick like out of my face or anything, um, which is obviously great. Um, but the reason why I haven't changed them is because this one fits nicely um, and I don't really have problems with this one, so I don't feel like I need to put a longer bar on it. Um, and this one, since I have had trouble with it and it does tend to swell whenever it's acting up, I like to have a bar that has some extra length. That way um, it won't build up pressure and cause it to be even worse. <laughs> Um, so that's why I haven't changed them. I don't really feel the need to change them. And um, if you guys are wondering, I get this question all the time. I do not know the length. I do not know the gauge. Um, I am sorry. I don't know. I never thought to ask my piercer or whatever, you know, he was piercing me. Um, but, you know, it, it'll it just depend on the piercer. Some piercers, once they want to put in, you know, the long and alien antenna looking bars, and others are like, no, you don't need that. That's just going to cause it to get more irritated. So it just kind of depends on the piercer. But everyone's, you know, cheek thickness is different. So just because I wear a certain length bar doesn't mean you're going to wear that same length bar. You know what I mean. Um, all right, and that brings me to my last one that I have to tell you guys. Um, I'm not cleaning them daily. Um, they, you know, get cleaned whenever I wash my face. So, you know, two to three times a day. Um, but... Now, since I do have like little diamonds in and they're pronged, um, I don't know why I did that. Um, I have a toothbrush that is just specific for these um, that I can just kind of clean off because, you know, makeup, um, sometimes the lymphatic fluid gets in the little prong areas and kind of gets it gunked up and then they don't shine as nicely. So I do clean little um, jewels with the toothbrush. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before. But yeah, um, I think that's it, guys. Um, I'm just very excited. You know, knock on wood, I don't have any real severe issues with them. Um, I'm, you know, very, very pleased with how, you know, they've been. Like I said, this one, you know, occasionally, I think, you know, only two times since my last update video, which isn't bad at all. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions about them, um, please check out my other dimple piercing videos. I have a whole playlist dedicated to all my piercings that you can check out. Um, and if I don't answer your question in any of those videos, then feel free to ask me. You can ask me on my Instagram, down in the comments, um, my Tumblr, those sort of things, which all of those are linked down below as well. So I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.